Okay, ma. Uh, in today's session, we are going to deal with the Newton Raphson method. In previous classes, we may come across the Gauss-Seidel method. Uh, in Gauss-Seidel method, you have flow chart. Uh, you have problems. Um, based on your slag bus and uh, load bus and we have problems on both the uh, slag bus load bus and generator bus so based on the three criteria we may discuss the problems i given some of the homework problem also so do you have any clarifications or doubts in the homework problems if you have means ask to me I'll give one or two minutes of the time to you. Homework leather doubt in the cake lamp. Illina la solun, but the problem. Next method is your Newton Robson method. So, in Newton Robson method, the solution is somewhat complex. We have the lengthy procedure to solve the problem. It is not uh, so easier compared to Gauss-Seidel method. So, this problem is somewhat complicated. Okay. So, I will first introduce the flow chart to you, and then I carry out the problem. The screen is visible to everyone, ma. The screen is clear and visible to everyone. My screen is visible or not, ma? Students do reply. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the corresponding flow chart required for your uh, Newton Raphson method. So this method uh, uh, has to be proposed to overcome the drawbacks of Gauss-Seidel methods. So in Gauss-Seidel method, what are the drawbacks we have? Means uh, the convergence speed is slower. So when we utilize the newton robson method and the convergence, that is the iteration speed is much faster. And the accuracy of the result is maintained. Uh, that is near to the closeness. So these things achieved in newton robson method. For that reason only, we are going for newton robson method. So it is a mathematical procedure only. So if you have sound knowledge in your newton robson method, uh, the problems and flowchart is easier to you. So the uh, flowchart is started with the uh, initial stage is starting process. You have the oval shape for starting. In all your computer programs or computer languages, the initial stage should be a starting process. You have to start. And we have to read or declare some data. So we have to read line data. So line data means bus to bus information from first bus to second bus or second bus to third bus or third to fourth or second to third. So in that manner, we have to read the line data. So if it is given an impedance means we have to convert into admittance and we have to read the line data. So that is line. And next one is bus data. So bus data means what is the nature of the bus, whether it is slack bus. So if only voltage is given, the slack voltage value never changes. It will be constant always. I said in the previous sessions. So the slack bus voltage profile is maintained the same throughout all the iteration, n number of iterations. 
and one more thing we have to read the tolerance for change in real power the change in reactive power so we have to uh, calculate what change in reactive power that is del p and change in reactive power del q so the reading process is so after the reading process is done uh, the next stage should be computation of y bus so these are all the initial declarations so we have to compute the y bus matrix so it depends upon the size of the bus we have the matrix if the size of the bus is 3 means we have three cross three matrix if the size of the bus is 4 means we have four cross four matrix if the size of the bus is 2 means 2 cross 2 matrix so after the computation of the y bus that is step number 1 is complete we have to initialize the voltage state vector x0 we have to initialize the voltages as we uh, studied in your gauss seidel method so in gauss seidel method we initialize the voltages so except the slack bus we have to initialize the bus voltages as 1 plus j0 per unit like that here also we have to initialize and next one is set hydration count which is equal to hydration equal to 1 so yeah count we have to increment so after this hydration count is set at that is one hydration two hydration three hydration so we have to perform the n number of hydrations what is possible in the newton navarabson method so first one is bus number i equal to one we have to proceed uh, with the first hydration so i equal to one so if the value is i equal to one means so we directly move on to the so if it is i equal to one means next process is i equal to i plus one so once the bus number is incremented uh, we have to calculate our real power as well as reactive power so what is the real power and reactive power expression is pi calculated equal to summation of j to 1 to n modulus of ei y ij vj cos theta ij plus del j minus del i so this is your real power calculation formula so before starting the process we have to uh, calculate our powers so in gauss seidel method the power is directly specified but here we have to estimate usually in some cases the power is directly given most of the cases they are not given we have to find out the pa calculated as well as qi calculated so qi calculated just a negative sign and instead of cos we have sign so that is the main difference between your real power and reactive power so overall change sign mutton change achana that is your uh, reactive power and your uh, trigonometry instead of cos we have sign so is i refer to pv bus so pv means generator bus so they said the bus is generator bus or not so we have two states uh, we have yes as well as no condition so if the condition is yes means we have to calculate del pi so del pi is nothing but pi specified minus pi calculated so this pi specified already indicated in the problem calculated as calculate so we have to calculate so once the change in power is calculated we have to check for q limit so in the previous problem we have the q limit so q limit should be 0.1 to 1 so we just checked out uh, whether the value lies within this range or not so 0.1 to 1 so probably the value is with, lies within the range so we are proceeding with the generator bus here also we have to check for q limit so if it is uh, qa is greater than q max so we have to calculate for qa specified equal to qa max and del QA is nothing but QA specified minus QA calculated. It is greater. 
so if it is lesser means we have to calculate again qa specified equal to qa minimum and del qa is nothing but qa specified minus qa calculated so within the range means we have to calculate your del qa qa specified minus qa calculated uh, so yes means the iteration is continuous so i equal to i plus one it continues uh, suppose no so the i is less than n means uh, we have to form our jacobian matrix so one more condition i'll say suppose if it is not pv bus means we have to calculate our change in real power and reactive power del pa and del qa that is enough so pa is specified minus pa calculated and del qa is nothing but qa is specified minus qa calculated so this process is over so in the half of the portion on the over item so next one what you know we have to form our jacobian matrix so what is your jacobian matrix do p by do del so del denotes your load angle v denotes your voltage so your real power divided by your load angle then uh, one two the element one two real power by your voltage next one is reactive power do q by do del with respect to load angle and the do q by do v so now with the help of once you formed the jacobian matrix we can calculate your change in load angle and change in voltage so what is your change in voltage and change in load angle is nothing but j inverse that is the jacobian matrix inverse into del p del q so this is your uh, change in load angle and change in voltage update update bus voltage so bus voltage should be modified at the end of the iteration that is v new equal to v new volt plus del v as well as your load angle del new equal to del volt plus del del and next one is check for the tolerance so del pi is less than eta convergence criterion or otherwise del qi less than convergence criterion eta if it is no means we have to increment our iteration once again so we have to proceed to the next iteration suppose the tolerance limit is not violated it is within the range means it is yes so we have to calculate our line flows we have to calculate our slack bus power total line losses present in the system and reactive power generated at the ev buses so once this process is over we have to print the results and final process should be stop so these are all about your newton robson in this manner we have to uh, solve our problem so we have 18 to 15 steps of uh, algorithms we have so you have to write both you want to patina bro flow chart matum podakuradu we have to write the algorithm also so rendu me ninga ezhudhinga na adha ungalku vandu full marks marks la kettaanga na 15 13 la full 13 kadaikum suppose nee vittita appadina they won't provide full marks upon the yellow mark will let mark will be given so i will attempt the algorithm also algorithm will explain panidra so once i complete the algorithm we have problem session i guess so the newton rab the algorithm in some cases in some university papers to only algorithm so try to understand the question if they are asking only the algorithm means you have to write only the algorithm suppose with the help of flow chart um, explain algorithm means you have to write both to understand the question properly and write accordingly so here uh, it is algorithm so new that algorithm uh, in question sometimes they are asking mere flow chart draw the flow chart Uh, means you have to only draw the flow chart. That's enough. No need to write the algorithm. So the weightage of the mark should be reduced. So they are asking mere algorithm, mere flow chart means they may reduce the marks. 
So, depend on the question you may present. So, the Gauss-Seidel method advantages before moving to the algorithm, we have the advantages and disadvantages of Gauss-Seidel method. So, the calculations are simple in Gauss-Seidel method and programming task is lesser. So, we have minimum number of steps only. And then the memory requirement is less, useful for small system analysis. Only we can we can analyze small size systems only. The disadvantages uh, requires large number of iterations to reach the conversions. So the accuracy is not maintained, not suitable for large systems. And convergence time increases with the size of the system. So if you are having more number of buses, means the convergence time is also increases. So the computation time should be increased. So these are all the advantages and disadvantages of Gauss-Seidel method. So in order to this this I am proposing newton robson So newton robson having this advantages. Uh, faster, more reliable, and the results are accurate. So first advantage of your NR method. And second is less number of iterations for convergence. So, third one is number of iterations are independent of the size of the system. So, in gauss Hill, they are dependent. Here, it is purely independent. And it is suitable for large number of systems. So, the disadvantages present in the gauss Hill is overcome with your uh, NR method. And disadvantages is very few only. The programming logic is more complex than this method. Just the programming complex is more. So, once the program is framed it will be processed uh, continuously there is no issues in it and the memory requirement is more number of calculation per iterations are higher than gs method so these are all the advantages and disadvantages of nr method so the first step assuming the flat voltage profile one per one plus j0 per unit for all the buses except your slag bus so this step is familiar to you. And second step is assume the suitable value of convergence criterion. So at the end of this iteration, del P and del B, del Q is calculated. That is the second step is convergence criterion assumption. And the third step is we have to set the iteration count to k equal to zero. And we have to assume some voltage profiles. So the initial values declare. So P equal to one comma three up to n number of. So here not it is n minus one, it is n. And fourth one is we have to advance the bus count to P equal to one. Slack bus. If it is a slack bus, go to step number 13. Otherwise, the next step. So I'm assuming it is not a slack bus, step number six. So we have to calculate reactive power using the equation. And the same equation only as I shown in the flow chart, just the notations are differed. So book by book, the notations is varied. You least bother about the notations. You just follow as I am shown in the flow chart. So based on the flow chart only, I'm going to solve the problem. Calculate change in real power. So del PK is uh, P specified minus PPK. That is specified minus actual. And step number eight is check for generator bus. Is the generator go to next step? Otherwise, it will jump and so if it check for generator bus means reactive power limit relation. We have to check the Q size in the not. So step number uh, 10 is your voltage specification. That is change in voltage squared equal to VP specified minus VPK squared. So we have to check the reactive power limit within this range. QPK is less than QP minimum. QPK is greater than QP max. So, so specified equal to QP minimum and specified equal to QP max. So relation limit we have to check. And 12 to 1 change in reactive power. 
So del Q P of K equal to Q P specified minus Q P K. So repeat five to twelve steps until all the residues change in P or Q are calculated. So if it is not step uh, slack, that means we have to directly come to this step only. So if it is not counted, if it is not uh, calculated as it is, means we have to repeat the step five to twelve again. And 14th step, we have to calculate change in real power reactive power on the del VPK square. And largest change in your del E, that is voltage. So when del E is less than eta, that is convergence criterion, directly move on to the step 20. If it is greater than convergence criterion, so next step we are proceeding. So we have to determine our Jacobian matrices by partial differentiation. So the K hydration value of two we have to find out. So the increment of real power and reactive power we have to estimate that is change in voltage and change in a per load angle. So the actual voltages, new bus voltages we have to estimate using this relations. 18th, 19th, and 20th step is advanced hydration count k equal to k plus one. Otherwise, the hydration is not counted, means we have to directly proceed. Step number one, the process is continuous again. And at last, step number 20 is calculate the line flows. So these are all the flow chart the for method. Based on we have problem. So I will explain only one example, ma'am, because the process is too large. So I will explain the only one problem. So remaining problems, I will put the material. You may calculate by yourself. So one or two examples, I will check it out. So already three problems uh, in your notes. Moon problem on the Nasal Penepa, the Marlin Patale Podoma, and the moon problems on the examination like a banga. So uh, better I recommend uh, you have to skip the problems because the solution is complex. And you may commit a mistake. Even your advanced learner student is also commit a mistake in Newton Robson method. So better practice carceral method problems through flowcharts. So if you are uh, familiar with the carceral flowchart and problem, you can surely score 13 marks. Uh, in part C means you will score 15 marks. So anyways, I have to uh, explain the Newton Robson problem also. So then only you will get the full marks. Suppose in part C they are asked the problem means you are supposed to answer uh, the question. So in that situation you have to reply. So we'll explain the problem too. So if I am completed this problem, uh, the unit is over. And directly I will proceed with the our fault analysis unit number three. So balance to fault, that is your third unit. So next session, uh, I will start the unit number B. So this is the question we have. Uh, consider a two bus system, whose bus data and line data are given below. So the bus data is a bus number type. Uh, third column is your generator. So generator is specified in terms of real power and the reactive power and load is specified in terms of your t demand pd qd voltage is given 1.02 here one and the angle is given as both the case zero uh, mva so the bus mva is 100 for both your uh, generators as well as load 
so only two buses we have we have slag bus and we have load bus so two information is only given so based on slag only voltage is specified if it is a pq bus means the load is only specified that is real power and reactive power specified in terms of demand pdqd the next column is reactive power limit q minimum q max so both the cases it is zero zero so we need not consider about your uh, real power and reactive power and next is line data this is a separate table from to so first bus to second bus so your r should be 0 0.0282 x should be 0 0.0960 and your uh, susceptance is not given so it is zero tap position on the one so one and now or position on the now or your bus uh, two bus system either it should be flown from one to two or two to one render possible so in a cake rang up in a solve the power flow using nr method that is newton robson method and find all the parameters for two iteration render so i'll perform uh, only one iteration two is up to you second iteration so the network for the given problem is so we have generator and we have load so real power should be 150 megawatt reactive power should be 50 mbr so the bus admittance matrix is obtained from the admittance diagram and converting other values to per unit we get. So V1 is 1.02. So that is I am converting your impedance to admittance. The inverse I am taking inverse of the value. So 1 divided by 0 0.028 plus J0.096. I may obtain the value of 2.8 minus J9.6. So the scheduled power in the load side is uh, minus 1.5 plus j.5. Why I am using this 1.5 and j.5? In the actual, it is 150 is given. And the reactive is 50. So the base value is given as 100. So actual by your base. 150 by 100 is 1.5. 50 by 100 is 0.5. So the scheduled power in the load side should be minus 1.5 plus j0.5. Why I am using minus means it is a load the energy is wasted here so i am indicated next to so based on the information i have to frame the y bus so the diagonal values is positive that is 2.8 minus 10.9.6 so non-diagonal values that is 1 2 1 1 2 1 both are complement to each other i'm just multiplying with your nine a negative sign so minus 2.8 plus 10.9.6 so this is the corresponding y bus. So converting this rectangular to polar. So if the values comes in the i means the value is rectangular. So angular is the polar form. So y bus equal to 10 at an angle 1.2870. Plus minus in a complex mode locator. The scientific calculator like shift the plus panning now with the polar to rectangular minus everything now rectangular to polar so on the conversion to red color like the plus the camera red or minus the malar red or so shift the plus panning now with the like rectangular polar polar and the conversion to maybe i will mismatch the sign a sign on the possibly not running or calculate the check calculator so the required power mismatch is given by so this is our uh, determination change in real power and change in reactive power del p2 and del q2 is nothing but j1 j2 j3 j4 this entire thing is nothing but your jacobian matrix into load angle and voltage why i am directly uh, entering with the jacobian and your change in voltage and the change in load angle because the q is not given reactive power limit is not given so I directly move on to the Jacobian matrix step. So we have to estimate uh, del P to zero and del Q to zero. That is initial iteration. So we have to estimate our PI, QI. So based on the PI and QI only, we have to calculate our del P2 and del Q2. So the value is nothing but J equal to one to N, modulus of VI, 
ஒன் I am setting i equal to 2 here and substituting here. So j is 2. 1 to 2 is not the same step. So v2, y2, 1. j is 1. y2, 1. They are equal to v1. Cos theta to 1 plus del 1 minus del 2. Plus, we are going to say j is 2. We are going to say 1 to 2 is number of buses 2. So second step, v2, y2, 2. v2 cos theta 2 to plus del 2 minus del 2 this is zero aidum so if i am substituting all the values in the expression i may obtain that the value p2 of 0 is minus 0.0561 likewise your q to 0 i equal to 2 and j equal to 1 so substitute panninga in your q value should be minus 0.1920 So, in a change in real power and reactive power should be P2 scheduled minus P2 of 0. So, P2 scheduled means which is given in the problem itself, minus of 1.5. And P2 of 0, I may get minus 0.0561. It just added minus 1.5 plus 0.05. So, the value should be minus 1.4439. Next one is del Q2 of 0. So, Q2 scheduled minus Q2 of 0. So minus 0.5 plus 0.1920. So after the simplification is done, minus 0.3080. So that is your initial change of your change in real power and reactive power. Now our aim is we have to calculate our Jacobian matrix. So J1 is nothing but do P2 by do del 2. So the expansion should be P2 Y21. V1 sin of theta to 1 plus del 1 minus del 2. So you may get 9.7921. I will show the formula for Jacobian form. So at the end of the problem, I will show the formula, how it is expanded. So next one is uh, J2. J2 is nothing but dou P2 by dou V2. So two times of del V2, Y2 to cos theta to 2 plus V1, Y2, 1 cos of theta. theta to 1 plus del 1 minus del 2 so i may get 2.7439 likewise your j3 del q2 and del del 2 so minus 2.8561 and j4 is do del q2 do v2 so i may get plus 9.4080 so already we calculated del p20 and del v20 i am substituted here and the j1 j2 j2 j3 j4 and del v2 del v2 so enak in the term matum da venum change in del lo change in v2 meno i just divided so in the matrix divided by this matrix so if i am solving i may get a del del to as minus 1.1274 del v2 is point not 714 so the inverse of j so inverse of j you have these values so once you have the inverse of this value the del 2 of 1 that is new iteration values del 2 of 0 and del 2 of 0 so the del 2 of 0 value is uh, you have 0 only it is not given so 0 minus 0.2 and v2 is 1 we are assuming and del v2 is minus 0.2 7 and 4 so 0.9276 now with the help of your del 2 1 and v2 1 you have to perform the second iteration so p2 of 1 is minus 1.3419 q1 is minus 0.4042 so we have to estimate our del p2 and del q2 and we have to calculate our jacobian matrix once again so here in the second stage do p2 by del v2 we have the relation and substituted you may get 8.6817 and j2 as 1.1225 
and J3 is minus 3.7862 and J4 is 8.4790. Now you have the power mismatch equation. So your del V2 and the del Q2 is Jacobian matrix del del 2 del V2. You have to take the inverse and obtaining the value for del del 2 and del V2. So the new values at the end of this iteration is del 2 of 2 and V2 of 2. So on the minus 0.14 and one the 0 0.9117. So using the two iteration, my P1 should be 1.5806 and QN should be 0 0.7846 and line close from one to two. I just added 168.039 plus J66.1 and S21 is minus 159.264 minus J36.014. So uh, this is the value at the end of the second iteration. You have the three bus system also. So you know, notes here could trigger. So just to proceed with your three bus system. So if I have the Jacobian matrix formula, I can use one So now Oh, please wait a moment. So this is the Jacobian matrix relation. So the element of J1 is del P A and del del I. That is summation J equal to one and not equal to I to N. Modulus of V A, V J, Y I J sign of theta I J plus del J minus del one. So if it is del P A is uh, equal to del I J means minus of V A, V J, Y I J. Del i j or theta i j plus del j minus del i. This j not equal to i. So likewise, you are a j2. So j2 we have is two times of v i y i i cos theta i plus summation of j equal to one and not equal to i to n v j y i j cos theta i j minus del j minus del i. Otherwise, you have a two p i by two modulus of v j. V A Y I J cos of theta I J del J minus del I. So J3 element. So this is your J3. Just you, uh, like your real with our reactive del Q I by del del I. So J4. And these are all your uh, final estimator. Okay, ma.
So only three problems we have in the Newton Robson. So try to practice the three problems and familiar with them. So the thing needed is you have to practice by your own. If you have any doubts or queries, means you may ask. Otherwise, you may leave the session. Doubt on the cake